Antibody-based treatment is an area that we've been quite excited about in myeloma for a number of years. I used to joke that myeloma is a disease that makes too much antibody, and yet for decades we didn't have an antibody to treat it. That all changed uh, in 2015, 2016, when we went from zero to two with the approval of daratumumab and then elotuzumab. And this year we've had the approval of a third, which is Belamaf, uh, uh, which is an antibody drug conjugate, as well as esetuximab that came out in the last year as well. I think that what we're noticing is that antibodies are a low toxic way to go from a three drug combination potentially to a four drug combination, get us to true levels of MRD negativity, and allow us to ask questions like, can we discontinue treatment? That all needs to be done in the context of clinical trials, but I think it, the antibodies and immune-based treatments give us the first opportunity to take the paradigm of continuous therapy and maybe begin to dial it back a little bit for some patients if we can get sustained duration MRD negativity and the partnership of antibodies with proteasome inhibitors and IMIDs and steroids, I think, gets us closer there.